Rescue. My name is Cameron, and we're here with the demonstration. What's up, guys? Howdy. Uh, Sweet. You guys just got done playing at Club Fathom. What do you think about the show? It was very cool. Uh, big venue, big stage. We had fun. We got to run around and act silly. So. Yeah, you guys have a pretty sick, intense show, for real. That's crazy. Like, when you invited the whole crowd up on the stage, that was pretty, pretty sick. Is that something you guys regularly do, or is that kind of spur of the moment kind of thing? It changes every night, really. It just depends on the crowd. The moment gets spurred regularly. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody get on the stage! How long did it take you to practice the uh, the cartwheel maneuvers with the uh, 50 spin things? That's, yeah, pretty, that's pretty sick. Um, <laughs> you were born with that talent? Yeah. yeah. Just like, <laughs> very agile. Came out of the wind and spinning guitars around it. Yeah. They get really excited when we get to play places like Fathom because <clears throat> it allows them to exhibit all their uh, gymnastic qualities. Yeah. Uh, if they weren't lead guitarists in a metal band, they'd probably be on ESPN2 as <laughs> cheerleading yeah, instructors. I, I can see that. I can see that, definitely. Yeah, disappointing, I'm yeah. wasting my life. Yeah, I know, for real. That's where the money is, so yeah. I'm pushing for that. You know, yeah, it's not wheels. your fallback plan. Yeah, that's, that's sick. Good. How do you guys like being on tour with the group of guys that you are on tour with? Uh, well, obviously, Kill Whitney Dead is pretty much. Uh, you guys know them real. You guys know them real well, don't you? <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. And then uh, you got the, um, who else? You have Carter Salt Banks, Salt the Moon, and Fate the Flames. Yeah. All very cool guys. Really. We get along really well with every band, which is kind of rare for an entire package to all be friends and get along. Yeah, Dance Club Massacre was on the first leg. Also, awesome dudes, and they dropped off. And Salt the Wound took their spot in the second half. This is only day two, though, so yeah. maybe we'll get in a fight and we'll have to whoop somebody's ass soon. But <laughs> until, <laughs> then, until then, right? Until then, yeah, it's going pretty good. No, I'm just kidding. We're we'll all we'll just lay back and accept the beating. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, for real. No, so we're all good friends. you got St. Louis tomorrow night, right? Mm -hmm. That's where I was See. born, St. Louis. Really? Oh, That's yeah. sweet. So you guys excited about that show then? Definitely. Definitely. How long is this tour supposed to last, this tour with these group of guys? You know? This is going to end right at the end of August. Right at the end of August. I think the 28th is the last show. 27th, 28th? 27th. 27th, Charlotte. We'll be going back home, so that'll be like our, you know, yeah. welcome home show. So that should be a good time. That'll be good. How do you how do you compare Charlotte and Chattanooga? What do you... It's pretty similar, huh? Uh, they both have big venues, and they both have really good music scenes. I mean, yeah. this is definitely like, you know, as our group as a whole, definitely one of the first times we've been here together. Um, but just different because we're from Charlotte and we played yeah. there a lot, and then yeah. the, the, you know, the response. But the audience is, is still very welcoming. Yeah, I, yeah but here, yeah. I don't know. I mean, I don't know if y'all saw earlier, but I mean, they were totally down with anything. You know, they're they're just as into. I mean, that's how that's how it ended up. Kids are on stage. Like, I mean, we're only as excited as the people are there to see us, and we feed off each other. Like, there wasn't. A, there's never a, a plan to go. Okay, well, during this song, we'll. We'll do this, so it it's cool. Yeah. I don't even remember what song it was, but I just remember that I think everybody was having fun, and I felt like we should just grab their hands and everybody should come up there and hang out. And that's that's all it is. <laughs> that's it, awesome. Sometimes it happens, and sometimes we fuck the whole bloody thing up. But either way, the point is, it's, it's like a true, realistic connection, and. Uh, that's what we're going for. We're That's not trying cool. to be the coolest people or the hippest people or the heaviest or the most talented. We're just trying to be 
the demonstration and play our songs and hope some people like them. And if that's, they do, they should come up and hang out. Yeah, man, that's sweet. I could feel that too when you guys were playing today. That was kind of the vibe that you got. So whatever goes, man, goes. So how did the demonstration like come together? I mean, I know that it's pretty much Kill Winnie Dead except for you. And uh, Basically, these uh, two guys are the forefathers of Burlington, North Carolina's metal scene. I'm sure you haven't heard of Burlington, North Carolina, but they've been playing pop punk since, well, I don't know. The demonstration is in various forms. It's been a band since before Kill Winnie Dead was ever a band. Oh, okay. Hmm. Which people always misconceive the, and then think that um, we're a side project of Kill Winnie Dead, which isn't the case. We were a band before, like I said, me and David have been playing guitar and drums together since middle school. Right on. Maybe even before, we played in high school bands with Zach, and then Rob and Josh joined. We started the demonstration in, in 2005. Rob just joined this year. It's kind of the final piece of the puzzle yeah. is the band now, but as a full-fledged unit, this right here is really pretty new. It's okay. only we, our first record's coming out. That's cool. You guys excited about that too? The first yeah. record? Really excited yeah. about it. That's cool, man. Yeah, that's cool. When does it come out in stores? When does that record it's come out? October 19th. October 19th? Mm -hmm. 14th? 14th. 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 Four, October 14th. October 14th. <laughs> October 14th. The demonstration CD comes out. It's Buy it. Out. Don't mm -hmm. download it. Buy it, right? Mm -hmm. Either way. Just listen yeah. to it. <laughs> Just rock out. Just listen to it. Just come to the show. Fun. Yeah, man. That's cool. So, what's the future of the demonstration? What do you guys see? We want to come back to Fathom. <laughs> yeah, we'll be around for that's sure because. Matt, the singer of Kill Whitney Dead, he runs Tribunal Records and he does a lot of other things career oriented that, that we don't do and Kill Whitney Dead is not a full time mm -hmm. touring band, probably never will be. Mm -hmm. And we hope to become one. That's awesome. Pretty much you know, now. Yeah, yeah. So, do that. That's good we'll stuff. We'll be around. You'll, you'll see us around for sure. So any uh, any promotion you want to do? Anything last you want to say real quick? Uh, well, I mean, obviously just for the whole tour in general, you know, I'd like to shout out all the bands that we played with, you know, Dance Club Massacre, With Faith or Flames, Salt the Wound, Carnifex, all these guys are rad. Um, our CD's coming out um, in mid-October, um, it's called Accidents with Intelligence on Media Scare Records uh, via Century Media. Um, check it out if you like music and you also like Mexican food. Yeah. You like Mexican, you like Mexican food, and you like music. You will like the demonstration. Yeah, there's something for everybody on the record. It's it's heavy. It's rocking. It's got awesome. singing. He's a, he's a new addition with a great clean vocal. Yeah, yeah that's got, like 16. Got, we have, we literally literally touch on about every facet of heavy music possible on the record. That's great. With that's still great. structuring the songs in a way that makes sense, I think. So yeah, definitely. We all, it's all, it's all, it's, I think it's all of our favorite records right now. So definitely. Mm. We're all listening to it a lot. Cool stuff, man. Other people like it too. So, a funny experience uh, on tour that you guys have had? Anything you off the, right off the top of your heads you can think of? Oh man, Weatherford's helicopter penis. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, did I say that out loud? Probably. Okay. Um, <laughs> mm. I can. I, I envision that. Check out bandrescue.com <laughs> <laughs> with a demonstration. That's Thank it. You so That's much. it. Thanks, guys, for coming out. Our that city comes awesome. out in October. <laughs> All right, yeah, definitely. Check them out. That's a demonstration.